in an earlier uh, lesson, we talked about how Hamlet puts down Polonius and, uh, sorry, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern with the recorders and says, oh, you're playing me and all that. Now we get the aftermath um, where my title is I Will Speak Daggers But Use None. Hamlet is so pumped. He's so excited because now he knows the ghost is real and he knows what he needs to do. Um, oh, good Horatio, I'll take the ghost's word for a thousand pound. Um, again, he doesn't really consider the fact that the play he's put on is about a nephew murdering uh, the Duke. It could be another thing, but he, he's in. Um, the spying's worked. Uh, did you see on the talk of poisoning? I did note him, yeah. Oh, look, it's the recorders. Uh, for if the king like not the comedy, why then be like he likes it not purdy? Come, some music. He's excited. He's fantastically happy. Um, and he's got confirmation from Horatio. Um, Polonius comes. He's really annoyed. My lord, the queen would speak with you and presently. And he does something that, uh, again, I think we see in Taming of the Shrew um, with this idea of uh, just re you know, someone using language to define something and forcing someone to assent to them. And I think Hamlet does this later with, um, what's his name? Oh gosh, his name will come to me in a second. Osiric. Um, and he does this in terms of the temperature. And, you know, I read a critic recently and says, oh, Hamlet in all his interactions is, is, is bullying people um, through his hierarchical status. Here's another perfect example. Do you see that cloud? It looks like a camel. Yes, it's a camel. Polonius is just assenting to try to get out of it. You know what? I think it's a weasel. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's like a weasel or a whale. What's really good about Polonius is he he's like, he, he tries... This one frame backed like a weasel, I really like because he's trying to be accommodating. You know, this madness is, is so much. And he's such a diplomat and he knows how to speak to people in power. So he's, oh, yes, 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 yes. Backed like a whale. Uh, weasel. Oh, is it a whale? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a whale. Fine. Because you agree with everything I'm saying, then I will come to my mother. Uh, they fool me to the top of my bent. I will come by and by. They fooled me to the top of my bent. I wonder what he means. I wonder I wonder what that means. I think, it, could he be saying that people are trying to trick him? I don't know. I'll come by and by. I will say so. Yeah, it's pretty easy to say by and by. Again, literal jokes. Um... On the page, it may not seem very funny. Uh, it may seem more witty. But I think in the in a good performance where the rhythm and the music and the actors and the play, these, these can get a lot of lot of laughs. I think that modern, I think, again, of Andrew Scott, Papa Seydoux, um, uh, Tennant, uh, the, the, this banter, this, this rhythmic uh, way of speaking, it can get a lot of uh, jokes. Um, Hamlet now definitively we know that he's in control of his performance because everybody get away from me and when he's alone he says okay look it is the very witching time of night okay it's like it's the time of night where magic darkness something like this oh it's more it's more dark and 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 you know churchyards yawn that's amazing. What a what a what a verb. Um, yawn. Uh, what do they do? yawn and the grave opens up and the un, the dead come to life, or hell breathes out. Contagion, disease. I could drink. It's like Lady Macbeth speaking. And do such bitter business as the day would quake to look on. He's talking a big game. Ooh, talking a big game, Hamlet. Like, what are you going to do? Uh, well, I mean, he's going to do bad things now to my mother. Now it's about him getting it on. And his mom, oh, heart, oh, heart, lose not thy nature. Let not ever the soul of Nero 
enter the firm bosom. Let me be cruel. I think Nero had his own mother killed in front of him. I think that's what that is in reference to. I think had his own mother, or did he kill his own mother? I think, I think I'm going to be cruel, but not unnatural. This double negative. So natural. So naturally, a child loves their mom, child, mother, bond, respect. I will be cruel. I'll speak daggers, but use none, crucially. Um, uh, the irony, the irony, again, he will unfortunately kill Polonius, of all people. My tongue and soul in this be hypocrites. How in my words soever she be shent, to give them seals never my soul consent. My tongue and soul in this. So I think if I take him, he, 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 he wants to kill her. My tongue and soul in this be hypocrites. How in my words give them seals never, my soul consent. There's some relationship between his words and his feelings. I'm a bit, I think I have to interrogate this a little bit more. Why is he a hypocrite? Is he a hypocrite because he wants to harm her? I don't, I don't, I'm not exactly following. Um, the dramatic after fa aftermath of, of the play within the play, Hamlet tells off or exposes Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. I know what you're up to, you're ridiculous people. Um, he he play, he has more playful banter with Polonius. He, he checks in with Horatio and they know, he knows what's going on. And he tells us in a small speech that, He's up for this. He he he's gonna. He's really in the end game. He's ready to murder, um, but when he deals with his mom, he's not gonna do that. And but he's gonna be cruel to her because he has to make her aware of some things. 